How are you today, Ms. Ann? Feeling a little nutty, she says. Well, that what's that's usual. <laughs> We're always a little nutty around here. Well, speaking of nutty, we're going to start the show with a really fun recipe, and this is a cake that I had once out at a restaurant, and I thought I can do this at home, kind of tweak it a little bit, and um, you know, use a box cake mix and figure out a way to jazz it up. It's a coconut cake that's moist as all get out, and then it's got this amazing coconut cream cheese frosting. Mm, it's just delicious. So I thought, you know, whenever I do that, I go out to eat at a nice restaurant and you have something there and you just try and go home and recreate it. I'm, I'm always doing things like that. So this is it. This one is a winner. It is just delicious and it's just yummy and something a little different. So it starts out with one box of white cake mix. And you know me, I like to cheat a little bit and use box cake mixes and then just jazz them up. So don't follow the directions on the back of the box. Do not do that. And we're using a white cake mix for this. Not yellow, the white. Okay, now we've got oil, water, one box of instant coconut cream pudding. And you need to use the instant. And this is going to keep this uh, cake really nice and moist. And then I'm using four egg whites, not the yolks. Oh, I love that smell. It smells so good. I'm a big fan of coconut. I just do it like this. We can use those yolks in something else. I know there's fancy contraptions, but this is the way I do it at home, so this is the way I'm going to do it here. This is going to keep this uh, cake nice and light and white, too. The, the yellows, the yolks would, you know, obviously color the yolk a little bit or the mix, the cake mix a little bit. Okay. And with cake mixes, I find it's always best to use a mixer to get that batter nice and smooth. So get out your electric mixer. Start it on low. And then turn it up a little bit. Anytime I have coconut, I feel like, hey, if you can't get to the beach, it's kind of like the next best thing. Can you smell that, Ann? It smells good. That coconut smell. Mm. Cake mix is looking good. Now we're going to move on to the frosting. Now for the frosting, it's a cream cheese, wonderful coconut buttery frosting. So it's real important uh, when you're working with cream cheese in a frosting to get it nice and smooth. You don't want any of those lumps. Because if you don't get them out at first, they're going to be there the whole time. So the recipe calls for one block of softened cream cheese, and I'm just going to start beating that a little bit. And then I'll get back to the cake. We've got a 9 by 13 pan. You could also just do this as a layered cake and do two 8 or 9 inch rounds. And then you'd have the frosting in the middle, which would be really nice.
You're in a little treat for you. Okay. So depending on if you're doing this in 8 inch or 9 inch rounds or you're doing it in a glass or metal pan, glass pans cook a lot more quickly. 350, about 30 minutes is what you're looking for. Do the old toothpick test. And we've got our cake that's been baked and cooled and looking fantastic right here. So there's our cake. Looks lovely. Let's get back to our frosting. So the cream cheese looks really nice and smooth. Now we're going to add to that one stick of butter, softened butter. We'll get that going with the cream cheese. And then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. I love a good cream cheese frosting. I think that's my favorite part about carrot cake. And that's why I love this recipe so much. Okay, now we're going to do a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to eyeball it. And a half of a teaspoon of coconut extract. Now this stuff, whenever you're using like a, an almond extract, or in this case a coconut extract, a little dab will do you. Um, in fact, I'm going to get an old measuring spoon here. This is a half a teaspoon, so I just don't want to overdo it. That's a quarter, so it'll be two of those. This stuff is strong stuff. So it's going to give it that nice coconut flavor, but won't be too crazy. And now I'm going to slowly add, gradually add, four cups of powdered sugar. That's the one thing I, I really love using box cake mixes and then jazzing them up, but I'm not a big fan of the pre-made frosting. I think it makes all the difference in the world if you make a really good frosting. And this one's not all that hard to do. Some of those frostings I think can be too sweet. You know what I'm talking about? And I really like to make your own. Standing back a little bit. All right. Use my spatula and get in here, and we're just about at the finish line. This frosting turned out just perfect. Let me just scrape down the bowl once. We'll get one more beat and we're going to frost this cake. I'm so excited about this. You know, we eat, you know, we have chocolate cake in my house and, you know, yellow cake and white cake. It's really fun to sometimes do something different and do a different flavor like a coconut cake. Okay. All right. Now it's real important that this cake is nice and cool. And if you're in a hurry to frost it, throw it into the refrigerator. Because this is a you know a cream cheese frosting. And if the cake is warm at all, it's gonna hit the cake and just melt on you. So I kind of when I do a frosting like this, I kind of dollop it around and then take a knife and just gently spread it over the cake. And then we're gonna finish the cake with just some sweetened flake coconut on the top. So I'm going to get frosting this, and I will check back in just a little bit and show you how it turns out when it's all done, and then we'll cut a big piece of it and dig in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Recipes on the website, by the way. You can also pick it up at any area, Festival Foods. It's my homemade 
pineapple made um, coconut cream cake. It is with that cream cheese coconut frosting. It is a winner. We'll be back with more fun do-it-yourself ideas, so stay with us.